Greetings again, everyone. Coming up again with the Mars in the seventh house. Happy Jupiter Day. Today is Jupiter Day. It's Thursday. Uh, as you know already, Thursday is ruled by Jupiter, planet of luck. So, as you know, in my past past two videos, I spoke about where your Jupiter is placed and what you should be doing in that time. Right? My Jupiter is in my seventh house, so my luck is in business. My luck is in law in a way. My luck is in just dealing with people. You know? People that are on my wavelength. So we're going to talk about Mars being in the 7th house now. And I didn't even get to say it. I reached 800. Usually when I get to a certain number, I always celebrate. I am thankful for it. Thank you all for your subscriptions. Thank you all for your love. Thank you all for your loyal support and all that good stuff. Just continue showing love. You know? Just continue doing what you do. I appreciate it. I reached 800 now, guys. So, soon reach 1K. That's the goal. So, Today we're talking about your Mars sign being inside of your eighth, your seventh house. Your Mars planet being inside of your seventh house, people. The seventh house is a house of relationships. It's a house of business. It's a house of marriage. The seventh house is a house of law. It originally rules Libras. You know, so Libras. It's crazy how my Jupiter is. But um, this house also represents, what did I say? I said business, marriage, law, and just relationships, really. So knowing that your Mars is here in, this, in the seventh house, you know that your Mars represents your passion and your energy and what you go towards and what you're passionate about what you will fight for so these people you Mars and yourself in the seventh house people you guys would fight you'd probably be really good lawyers or law enforcers when I say law I mean real law I'm not talking about policy I'm talking about real law you with your Mars in the seventh house, you would be really good law enforcers. You know, you would you would you would fight for the right causes. You know what I mean? Hang on. Also, your energy and your passion is towards relationships. It's either relationships or you can say your passion and your your energy and all of these things here are are towards your significant other there's many different ways you can look at it it can be a marriage partner it can be business partners it can be you know things that have to do with law right so if your mars is here in your seventh house just know that you're a person that is really yeah, that's your focus and that's what you're going towards. You're going towards marriage. You'll fight for marriage, your marriage. You're, you're going towards business. You're a person that will fight for your business. And you'll you push and push your energy until you reach where you need to get to. You're a person that will fight for what is right. You will fight for law. Real law. No, you're a person that is like that. Right? So let me give you something else. I'm going to reach four minutes. Let me see what else this has to say so I can get out of inspiration. Oh, 
on different drugs. Don't like that all right so mars it says mars is a separate separative planet so it's influence in the house of marriage okay it's saying that it's a house of marriage well i know it's a house of business as well it's a house of partnership it's a house of law right so it's saying here influence in the house of marriage is i can't pronounce that word Assumptious, A U S P I C I O U S, is not considered assumptious. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. I have to look up what that means. Oh goodness. Okay. So when Mars occupies the seventh house, it may make you. Where did you get that from? Okay, that's true because the Mars also represents your sexual energy at the same time too. So it's saying that it may make you sexually energetic and bold. At the same time, it may make you restless and even harsh that will have an effect on your marriage life. <laughs> oh my God. As I said, people are willing to fight for their marriage. So, no matter what, I guess no matter what they may go through with their sexual appetite, they will still fight for their marriage. That's what I'm saying. I have to find something else come. You know that? That one day. But it's true because your Mars represents your sexual energy, but they just focus on that alone. With your Mars being in a house of business, partnerships, marriage, and also law, they sort of left that part out. Okay, this this sounds a little better. It sounds a bit better. Okay. Right. With Mars in the seventh house of your natal chart. You need a partner who challenges you, and your close partner or close personal relationships can be especially passionate, active, and physical. You may be drawn to people who are more assertive or aggressive than you. Alternatively, you find your own assertiveness through a special someone. There can be a marked impulsive tendency in your one-to-one -one relationships. Often, Certainly, you need your connections to maintain a high level of passion and energy. You can be particularly good at meditating, counseling, troubleshooting, debate, the law, or working with the law. Right? They're just looking straight at just the sexual energy. But I know wherever your Mars is, it's something that you're passionate about. It also represents war, too. So I understand what they're saying, what it's saying, yes. But as you know, I like to look at the positive. No aggressiveness, no physical fighting in Mars in the um, seventh house people. Because this house is not about that. This house is about harmony. So having a Mars here in the seventh house, it can be a little tipsy turvy but you gotta control your energy at the same time so yeah. Mars. so that is it for now people i didn't feel like wearing a wrap today this one to have my hair out I'm gonna start. My son tell me I need to start twisting my hair again. I might be growing my locks them again. Let's see how that goes. But um, that's it for now, people. This is my Mars in the seventh house. I hope you did enjoy it. That's it for now. So, as you know already, more love, more prosperity.
Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Keep everything good. Keep everything right. And keep everything tight up. As you know already, I are Empress Mercy L. Also known as Mercy L. All right, people. So, look for more. We will chat again. Take it easy.